I do a safety observation on you? Yeah, why not? Uh, explain to me a little bit about uh, what you got going on here. Well, I'm just going to move this foil uh, over there with the crane. So what are the uh, biggest safety hazards in your area? Well, one of the big ones that I notice a lot is when I'm operating the crane, people tend to walk through here a lot, even when it's up in the air and I'm moving it, people don't even pay attention and just walk right through here. And that's, that's probably one of the biggest safety issues I have over here. And then also the forklift traffic is pretty a uh, big issue too. Uh, what safety improvements would you like to see in your area? Uh, probably, Another toolbox meeting on uh, exclusion zones, so everybody's more aware of what an exclusion zone is and where they are and what to do and not to do in them. Very good. Uh, is there anything you can do to make your job safer? Probably be uh, that people know before I'm operating the crane. Say, hey, I'm about to use the crane and be more aware of my surroundings and just pay full attention to what I'm doing. That's probably what I could do. Very good. Sure, man.
So, what is the biggest safety hazard in your area? At this moment, I believe it's the way our coils are stacked. Uh, some people come over here and stack the wrong size coils on the bottom. Even they can stack a 36 and then put a 42 on top of that. Uh, other than that, I don't see any other thing at this time. What safety improvements would you like to see done? Yes, maybe uh, creating some type of a labeling system for the actual coil stacking and enforcing. And I think that would keep a lot of coils from being crushed and maybe someone getting hurt with the coil falling off at an angle or something uh, if it's stacked wrong. What do you think would actually make your job safer? What could you do? Uh, yeah. Maybe if we actually get that implemented into the system where we have the actual tagging system, then I can make it safer by actually enforcing it whenever I see it being done wrong. So I noticed you were standing behind the decoiler whenever the coil was unraveling. It looked to me like an unsafe action, but I don't know what goes on in this area that well. Could you please explain why you would do that? Yes, the reason why I was behind the coil is because I was inspecting the end of the coil, so that way I could see if there's a red tag or any kind of damage to the actual coil itself, so that I could actually complete a panel without creating scrap. That's the reason why I was back there. Arturo, ¿te puedo hacer una safety observation, Arturo? ¿Está bien? ¿Está bien? que caminan alrededor de nosotros no respetan las zonas de Porcli o de la uh, grúa viajera. ¿Qué te gustaría para prevenir estos peligros en tu área? Ah, pues que la gente respete las zonas de, de seguridad para manejar el Porcli 
y la, la grúa con las cargas de con rollos o lo que tengamos que mover. ¿Es algo que puedes, algo que puedes hacer para hacerlo más seguro? ¿Tu trabajo? ¿Hay algo que pueda ser más seguro? Um, orientar a la gente que camina aquí alrededor de nosotros uh, no tocar la lámina o uh, no tener conversaciones largas para no distraernos nosotros y no uh, dañarnos, no cortarnos, no lastimar a alguien más. Arturo, ¿cuál es la razón por qué tiene la tapa del skid arriba del contenedor del metal? La razón que ponemos la tapa arriba del contenedor para el scrap es porque no tenemos dónde uh, uh, ponerla. Uh, este es el único espacio que tengo para acomodarlo y ser flexible para volverlo a su lugar cuando está terminado el trabajo. Pero tenemos un problema, uh, tengo que estarla moviendo para uh, poner el scrap que está saliendo del de material que no sirve enfrente del rollo. Entonces, pues sería una buena idea tener algo donde colocarla, pero también a la vez algo que nos convenga, que no sea difícil para una sola persona volverla a su lugar, ya que solamente yo trabajo en este departamento. Y a veces mis compañeros están ocupados y no pueden ayudarme.